Question 1. A 25-year-old male comes to see you after breaking up with his girlfriend. He is in a panic. He tells you that he has never been on his own and wants to know what you think he should do. He says he does not understand why his girlfriend broke up with him. He always did everything that she asked of him and never disagreed with her. All I wanted to do was make her happy, he told you. You asked him if his ex-girlfriend gave him a reason for the breakup. He stated that she told him that she was tired of making all of the decisions in the relationship such as where to go for dinner, which apartment they should choose, etc. She told him that he never helped her make any of the decisions that they should make together. The client tells you that he must find a new girlfriend quick or his whole life will fall apart. What is the most likely DSM-4 axis 2 diagnosis for this patient? A. Depression. B. Borderline personality disorder. C. Narcissistic personality disorder. D. Dependent personality disorder. E. Histrionic personality disorder. The correct answer is D. Dependent personality disorder. Question 2. Marked impulsivity, patterns of instability in interpersonal relationships, self-image, and effect together define which of the following personality disorders? A. Narcissistic personality disorder. B. Dependent personality disorder. C. Avoidant personality disorder. D. Histrionic personality disorder. E. Borderline personality disorder. The correct answer is E. Borderline personality disorder. Question 3. Aversion therapy, such as might be used to treat a habitual sex offender, is designed to change an individual's behavior by making the consequences of a maladaptive behavior extremely unpleasant. This is an example of A. Psychoanalytic psychotherapy. B. Cognitive therapy. C. Behavioral therapy. D. Family therapy. E. Group therapy. The correct answer is C. Behavioral therapy. Question 4. Francis, an only child, is a 20-year-old receptionist in a wholesale dress house who feels that she hasn't been discovered yet by the fashion world. She has done some showroom modeling for customers and is always daydreaming that she will be swept off her feet by the next wealthy man who comes through the door. Eating in the local restaurants, she always takes the opportunity to complain about the clumsy waiters, the inept service, or the poor quality of the food. Frances engages in a rich fantasy life in which she is adored and loved by crowds of onlookers and where she gets even with all the people whom she perceives have been mean to her. She would be diagnosed with A. Histrionic Personality Disorder B. Narcissistic Personality Disorder C. Borderline Personality Disorder D. Dependent Personality Disorder E. Immature Personality Disorder The correct answer is B. Narcissistic Personality Disorder Question 5 which cluster includes the sad and anxious personality disorders including avoidant, dependent, and obsessive-compulsive? A. Cluster A B Cluster B. C. Cluster C D Cluster D. The correct answer is C. Cluster C. Question 6. A diagnosis of schizoid personality disorder instead of schizophrenia would be made in the absence of A. Social withdrawal. B. Psychosis. C. Flattened effect. D. Drug abuse. E. Active symptoms. The correct answer is B. Psychosis. Question 7. Which of the following was developed by John Watson and involves using systematic desensitization, relaxation training, hierarchy construction, desensitization of the stimulus, flooding, participant modeling, exposure to stimuli in virtual reality, assertiveness training, and aversion training, and is commonly used to treat phobias, OCD, certain sexual disorders, and alcohol dependence? A. Cognitive therapy. B. Group therapy. C. Behavioral therapy. D. Psychoanalytic therapy. E. Biofeedback. The correct answer is C. Behavioral therapy. Question 8. Submissive and clinging behavior is most closely associated with which of the following personality disorders? A. Borderline personality disorder. B. Avoidant personality disorder. C. Dependent personality disorder. D. Paranoid personality disorder. E. Narcissistic personality disorder. The correct answer is C. Dependent Personality Disorder. Question 9. What are the two personality disorders that have assertiveness training as part of their treatment plan? A. Dependent and Narcissistic. B. Avoidant and Antisocial. C. Antisocial and Borderline. D. Avoidant and Dependent. E. Narcissistic and Antisocial. The correct answer is D. Avoidant and Dependent. Question 10. Schizotypical Personality Disorder is best defined by which of the following? A. A pervasive pattern of disturbed interpersonal relationships. B. A disturbance of interpersonal relationships due to discomfort with close interaction with others. C. A pervasive fear of rejection of others, and a resulting avoidant pattern of interpersonal relationships. 
deep pervasive social detachment and restricted effect. E. Moderate psychotic-like symptoms. The correct answer is B. A disturbance of interpersonal relationships due to discomfort with close interaction with others. Question 11. Which of the following is the treatment of choice for paranoid personality disorder? A. Pharmacotherapy. B. Psychotherapy. C. Benzodiazepines. D. Antipsychotics. E. Group therapy. The correct answer is B. Psychotherapy. Question 12. Which of the following therapies relies on instrumentation to measure moment-to-moment feedback about physiological processes and is typically used for treatment of insomnia, speech problems, managing stress, improving athletic performance, volitional disorders, and somatoform disorders? A. Cognitive therapy. B. Group therapy. C. Psychoanalytic therapy. D. Behavioral therapy. E. Biofeedback. The correct answer is E. Biofeedback. Question 13. A 40-year-old male comes to see you at the insistence of his wife. He states that there is nothing wrong with him, but if seeing a psychiatrist will shut his wife up, then he is willing to do it. The client is a very successful businessman. He tells you that his wife recommended he see a therapist, but he stated that if he was going to receive counseling then he wanted to see a psychiatrist because they have more education. The patient states that his wife is frustrated because they have no friends, and that the client is too picky about people. Upon further elaboration the client says that he is not going to spend time with just anyone, and that spending time with people less educated and intelligent than himself was a waste of time. When asked about his job, the client states that it is okay, but he is underappreciated. He says that without him the company would never make any money, but that nobody ever recognizes how important he is to the company. What dsm 4 diagnosis do you suspect for this client? A. Borderline Personality Disorder B. Histrionic Personality Disorder C. Antisocial Personality Disorder. D. Narcissistic Personality Disorder. E. Obsessive Compulsive Personality Disorder. The correct answer is D. Narcissistic Personality Disorder. Question 14. A woman brings her 25-year-old son to your office for evaluation. She says that he never goes out and she complains that it is high time he finds himself a girlfriend. In discussing this with the man in private, he reveals that he has never felt comfortable around other people because he feels too much pressure to perform. He fears rejection. This man is probably suffering from which type of personality disorder? A. Obsessive Compulsive Personality Disorder. B. Narcissistic Personality Disorder. C. Borderline Personality Disorder. D. Dependent Personality Disorder. E. Avoidant Personality Disorder. The correct answer is E. Avoidant Personality Disorder. Question 15. Which cluster includes the bad and wild personality disorders including antisocial, borderline, histrionic, and narcissistic. A. Cluster A. B. Cluster B. C. Cluster C. D. Cluster D. The correct answer is B. Cluster B. Question 16. Which of the following is not a suggested treatment option for dependent personality disorder? A. Assertiveness training. B. Anxiolytic meds given during crisis. C. Psychoanalytic therapy. D. Group therapy. The correct answer is C. Psychoanalytic therapy. Question 17. A 43-year-old single female has been referred to you for psychiatric evaluation from the Employee Assistance Program at her job of 21 years. She has been exhibiting some odd behaviors at work. Stressors she has experienced over the last year include successful treatment of breast cancer and the loss of both of her parents to illnesses. During several interviews, in which she referred to herself in the third person, she related that she had been close to her parents and had no one else in her life that she trusted. She also expressed that she felt her co-workers wanted her cancer to recur and that the fluorescent lights at work made her burn inside. She stated that she knew her cancer was gone by the number of roses on her rose bush at home and that angels have sent her messages through wind chimes since she was a little girl. She denied any history of hallucinations. Her sleep and appetite were normal. Her psychiatric history was significant only for taking an antidepressant when she was 23 years old. Based on the information you have, what is your provisional diagnosis? A. Paranoid Personality Disorder B. Avoidant Personality Disorder C. Schizophrenia D. Schizoid Personality Disorder E. Schizotypal Personality Disorder The correct answer is E. Schizotypal Personality Disorder Question 18. A 26-year-old female presents asking for a new employment physical. She is a new patient to your office, having recently moved to the area. On taking her social history, She reveals that she is quite sad because she feels isolated and lonely. You ask whether she has attended any local places of worship or tried any other things to foster new relationships, but she has not, 
saying that she is afraid no one will like her. She admits that she has always been shy and never had many friends, which has been painful for her. In addition, she is afraid to begin her new job because she fears that she will perform poorly and is afraid that others will reject her. Which type of personality disorder does this patient have? A. Schizoid personality disorder. B. Avoidant personality disorder. C. Borderline personality disorder. D. Antisocial personality disorder. E. Paranoid personality disorder. The correct answer is B. Avoidant personality disorder. Question 19. A man in his mid-30s calls to make an appointment for counseling, stating that his relationship of five years just broke off, at his partner's insistence. He says that he is unsure what to do because he has not been without a significant other for more than a week or so since high school. You determine that the man is not suicidal or homicidal, but from his responses to your questions you get the sense that this man's sense of loss will persist long after a normal period of adjustment, unless he enters into a new relationship. You think this because you are guessing that this man has this type of personality disorder. A. Obsessive Compulsive Personality Disorder B. Narcissistic Personality Disorder C. Borderline Personality Disorder D. Dependent Personality Disorder E. Avoidant Personality Disorder The correct answer is D. Dependent Personality Disorder Question 20. Narcissistic Personality Disorder is centrally characterized by which of the following features? A. Preoccupation with Fantasies B. A Pattern of Grandiosity C. A Sense of Entitlement D. Envy of Others E. Arrogance and Haughty Behavior The correct answer is B. A pattern of grandiosity. Question 21. Which of the following would be contraindicated in the psychotherapy of the person with borderline personality disorder? A. Open therapist patient boundaries. B. Use of medications. C. Highly structured sessions. D. Stress interview. The correct answer is A. Open therapist patient boundaries. Question 22. Which of the following therapies can take the form of supportive, analytically oriented, transactional, self help? cognitive behavioral, or behavioral therapies and is most commonly used for borderline personality disorders. A. Cognitive therapy. B. Group therapy. C. Psychoanalytic therapy. D. Behavioral therapy. E. Hypnosis. The correct answer is B. Group therapy. Question 23. You have just come on duty at midnight in the emergency room and are being told about the current patients. First is a 36-year-old male with a deep laceration across his chest. The wound has been cleaned, and he is waiting to be sutured by the on-call surgeon. He has been demanding oxycodone, oxycontin, and has threatened several nurses for not complying. When you go to check on him, he is rummaging through the medical supplies in the cabinet in his room. He asks if you are going to fix him up or are just another flunky. You remain professional and ask him to give you some background information. He tells he is in a hurry because he has some business to finish with some guys who are after him. He is unkempt and has poor dental hygiene. While examining his wound, he asks you if there are any police officers in the emergency room and explains that they have been following him and harassing him for the last year. As you leave to find the surgeon, you inform him that threatening the staff will not be tolerated. He snorts and mutters something under his breath. As you are walking away, he calls after you to get the surgeon in here. You suspect he may have a narcissistic personality disorder, b histrionic personality disorder, c antisocial personality disorder. D. Paranoid Personality Disorder. E. Borderline Personality Disorder. The correct answer is C. Antisocial Personality Disorder. Question 24. Which of the following signs and symptoms would rule out the diagnosis of schizotypal personality disorder? A. Odd thinking. B. Symptoms occurring only at home. C. Social anxiety. D. Symptoms not evident in childhood. E. Magical thinking. The correct answer is B. Symptoms occurring only at home. Question 25. Violating the rights of others and being unable to conform to the norms of society is symptomatic of A. Paranoid Personality Disorder B. Antisocial Personality Disorder C. Schizotypal Personality Disorder D. Borderline Personality Disorder E. Dissociative Fugue The correct answer is B. Antisocial Personality Disorder Question 26. Which of the following disorders is distinguishable by marked eccentricities and odd beliefs? A. Schizoid Personality Disorder B. Antisocial Personality Disorder C. Borderline Personality Disorder D. Paranoid Personality Disorder E. Schizotypal Personality Disorder The correct answer is E. Schizotypal Personality Disorder Question 27. Which of the following is not indicated as treatment for Schizotypal Personality Disorder? 
A. Antidepressants. B. Group therapy. C. Neuroleptics. D. Cognitive therapy. E. Antipsychotics. The correct answer is D. Cognitive therapy. Question 28. Little is known about treatment for schizoid personality disorder. There is no effective pharmacologic agent and prognosis is poor. What is one type of treatment that could actually worsen the SPD's mental status and cause them to break down? A. Behavioral therapy. B. Family intervention. C. Psychotherapy. D. Group therapy. E. Biofeedback. The correct answer is D. Group therapy. Question 29. An essential feature of borderline personality disorder, BPD, is A. Instability of relationships. B. Long-term drug use. C. Paranoia. D. Theatricality. E. Lack of remorse. The correct answer is A. Instability of relationships. Question 30. Which of the following types of therapies uses techniques of free association, interpretation of defenses and conflicts among the ego, it and superego, external reality, and the interpretation of dreams? A. Group therapy. B. Cognitive therapy. C. Psychoanalytic therapy. D. Biofeedback. E. Hypnosis. The correct answer is C. Psychoanalytic therapy. Question 31. True or false? More men than women are diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is B. False. Question 32. What is the treatment of choice for borderline personality disorder? A. Psychotherapy plus meds for specific symptoms. B. Pharmacotherapy alone. C. Cognitive therapy plus meds. D. Behavioral therapy alone. E. Group therapy and self-help groups. The correct answer is A. Psychotherapy plus meds for specific symptoms. Question 33. A woman in her mid-30s has a history of difficulty in social relationships. She is highly demanding and hyper-focused on her appearance. When she wants a haircut she refuses to wait for an appointment demanding she receive immediate service regardless if others were waiting ahead of her. She frequently ignores her boyfriend at social functions and is observed flirting with other men, even though he goes out of his way to try to please her. As a result of these behaviors, she has few if any close friends. This description is most indicative of which condition? A. Obsessive Compulsive Personality Disorder. B. Avoidant Personality Disorder. C. Narcissistic Personality Disorder. D. Manic Depressive Disorder. E. Schizoid Personality Disorder. The correct answer is C. Narcissistic Personality Disorder. Question 34. Mary Ann is a showroom model in New York City, where she models shoes. It is extremely important that she not get any marks on her ankles or legs and she takes very good care of her entire body. Twice a week, although she can hardly afford it, she has a massage and goes to the dermatologist to have hair removed on her legs and face. An attractive, blonde-haired woman of 23, she has completed secretarial school, which she refers to as business college. Mary Ann is waiting to meet a rich millionaire in the showroom and wants to get married and live in a house in Connecticut with a full staff. Her boss tolerates her chronic lateness and excessive demands because she is attractive and, although she can be very condescending, his customers seem to find her amusing. When asked about her work, she always tells people she is a model and expects to be signed by a major agency very shortly. She is very unhappy because she feels unrecognized and envies the models in the magazines. You might diagnose her with A. Histrionic Personality Disorder B. Dependent Personality Disorder C. Borderline Personality Disorder D. Schizotypal Personality Disorder. E. Narcissistic Personality Disorder. The correct answer is E. Narcissistic Personality Disorder. Question 35. Of the following personality disorders, a person with which disorder is likely to be most resistant to therapy? A. Borderline Personality Disorder. B. Narcissistic Personality Disorder. C. Dependent Personality Disorder. D. Histrionic Personality Disorder. E. Schizoid Personality Disorder. The correct answer is E. Schizoid Personality Disorder. Question 36. True or false? Obsessive Compulsive Disorder and Obsessive Compulsive Personality Disorder are considered the same thing. A. True. B. False. The correct answer is B. False. Question 37. Your client is fearful of asking a woman out on a date because he has been rejected in the past. While being hurt, he has decided that all relationships with women invariably hurt men. You begin exploring the validity of this statement with your client by having him make a list of his male friends, and then you give him an assignment to contact each man and ask them if all women they have been involved with have hurt them. This assignment best fits a model of A. Psychoanalytic Psychotherapy B. Cognitive Therapy 
C. Behavioral therapy. D. Family therapy. E. Group therapy. The correct answer is B. Cognitive therapy. Question 38. Which of the following is not a suggested treatment for patients with avoidant personality disorder? A. Psychoanalytic therapy. B. Family therapy. C. Assertiveness training. D. Group therapy. E. SSRIs, MAUs, and beta blockers for social phobia. The correct answer is B. Family therapy. Question 39. Isolation is common among those with schizoid personality disorder or avoidant personality disorder. The distinction in this isolation between the two types of personality disorders is that someone with avoidant personality disorder. A. Prefers isolation. B. Is unhappy with isolation. C. Lacks warmth. D. Has restricted emotions. E. Is egotistical. The correct answer is B. Is unhappy with isolation. Question 40. Those with a phobic disorder tend to respond well to A. Psychoanalytic psychotherapy. B. Family therapy. C. Biofeedback. D. Group therapy. E. Behavior therapy. The correct answer is E. Behavior therapy. Question 41. Joanne is a 35-year-old single female, who is very concerned that she will be abandoned by her boyfriend. She has always been very intense in her relationships, many times alternating between idealization and devaluation, often is highly impulsive, and engages in reckless driving and casual sex. When left alone, her thoughts turn to suicide and she has made several gestures in the past. Her mood ranges from intense dysphoria to anger and she sometimes suffers from feelings of dissociation. Your diagnosis would be A. Paranoid Personality Disorder B. Dependent Personality Disorder C. Borderline Personality Disorder D. Histrionic Personality Disorder E. Schizoid Personality Disorder The correct answer is C. Borderline Personality Disorder Question 42 which of the following therapy options was developed by Freud and involves the concepts of transference, displacement of attitudes and feelings from the past onto the analyst, and resistance, unconscious ideas are repressed from reaching awareness because they are unacceptable for some reason. A. Group therapy. B. Cognitive therapy. C. Psychoanalytic therapy. D. Biofeedback. E. Hypnosis. The correct answer is C. Psychoanalytic therapy. Question 43. Sarah has always had a problem with her peers from childhood to the present. She has never had a friend in whom she felt she could confide because she suspects the motives of everyone. When any remark is made as a joke, she takes it personally and has a tendency to carry a grudge. Sarah feels that she is the constant butt of attacks on her reputation and this has caused a great deal of difficulty in any ongoing relationship she has had with a man. She is always questioning their fidelity without grounds to do so. It has resulted in most of the relationships breaking up rather quickly and Sarah feels she's been cheated by life. There is no history of psychotic illness, no mood disorder, no familial history of psychosis, or serious medical illness and Sarah is in good physical health for her age. You would say she is suffering from A. Paranoid Personality Disorder B. Dependent Personality Disorder C. Borderline Personality Disorder D. Avoidant Personality Disorder E. Narcissistic Personality Disorder the correct answer is A. Paranoid Personality Disorder. Question 44. A female patient of yours is a dramatic actress. She is good at her work, but it seems that one reason she is so good is that she is dramatic in her life as well. All of her emotions are expressed to the extreme, whether she is preparing dinner or reacting to stress. She is sexually provocative as well, and you have no doubt that when she says darling, my life is just the life of the party, she is speaking the truth. If a diagnosis were going to be made for this patient, you would probably first consider A. Paranoid Personality Disorder B. Schizoid Personality Disorder C. Schizotypal Personality Disorder D. Antisocial Personality Disorder E. Histrionic Personality Disorder The correct answer is E. Histrionic Personality Disorder Question 45. Which cluster includes the mad and weird personality disorders including paranoid, schizoid, and schizotypal? A cluster A B cluster B. C cluster C D cluster D. The correct answer is A. Cluster A. Question 46. Excessive emotionality and attention seeking best characterizes which of the following personality disorders? A borderline personality disorder. B narcissistic personality disorder. C histrionic personality disorder. D antisocial personality disorder. E avoidant personality disorder. The correct answer is C. Histrionic Personality Disorder. Question 47. 
emotional expressiveness is least likely to be present in which of the following personality disorders? A. Paranoid personality disorder. B. Schizoid personality disorder. C. Schizotypal personality disorder. D. Antisocial personality disorder. E. Histrionic personality disorder. The correct answer is B. Schizoid personality disorder. Question 48. According to Mrs. D. Bayes, which of the following is not an area that maladaptive patterns of personality disorders typically manifest in? A. Impulse control. B. Cognition, how we perceive and interpret events. C. Personal rituals and mannerisms. D. Effect, range, intensity, lability, and appropriateness. E. Interpersonal interactions. The correct answer is C. Personal rituals and mannerisms. Question 49. A woman in her early 50s is being seen at a behavioral health clinic. She has been encouraged by her family and her employer to attend. The primary reason is that she has serious problems relating to other people. Most people describe her as especially solitary, indifferent, and emotionally cold. They feel that her quality of life suffers from this lack of social inclination, and that problems with loneliness may worsen as she gets older. She has always been single and has never had any friends to speak of, even as a child. What is the most likely provisional diagnosis from the DSM-4 based in this information? A. Borderline Personality Disorder B. Paranoid Personality Disorder C. Schizoid Personality Disorder D. Schizotypal Personality Disorder E. Antisocial Personality Disorder The correct answer is C. Schizoid Personality Disorder Question 50. A 40-year-old female patient has been referred by a psychiatrist for a general medical evaluation. While the nurse tries to locate the referral information, you go and speak with the patient. She is lying down on the examination table and tells you she was feeling lightheaded again. She is wearing a low-cut blouse and spandex pants. Before you can ask a question, she tells you she has had a difficult year, and was very depressed after her lover left her without warning. She begins crying, and says she has autoimmune problems from breast implants she got just to please John. When you ask if Dr. Smith, the referring psychiatrist, treated her for depression, she smiles and replies, Oh, yes, Stephen saved my life and states she doesn't know what she will do if he ever retires. When the nurse arrives with the chart, you see that she has complaints of fatigue, recurrent ear infections with bleeding, irritable bowel, and fibromyalgia. Dr. Smith has made an axis I diagnosis of recurrent major depression, in remission and an axis II diagnosis of A. Narcissistic Personality Disorder B. Antisocial Personality Disorder C. Histrionic Personality Disorder D. Paranoid Personality Disorder E. Borderline Personality Disorder The correct answer is C. Histrionic Personality Disorder